think what's interesting is is that most people who see me see the successes. You know, Surgeon General, Distinguished Professor, the jobs I've had, police officer, uh, registered nurse. But what they don't see is all the years it took to get there and how many times I failed to have to get there. And as I've often told youngsters when I'm mentoring and counseling and trying to inspire, I have failed more times in my life than I've succeeded. But it, when it's important, I got up one more time. And that's really the difference between someone who succeeds and fails. You know, it's nobody said it's going to be easy, but it's still a land of opportunity. And as long as those of us who are in positions of responsibility remember where our roots are, and when we take that elevator to the top floor, we make sure we send it down for somebody else and help them make that trip as well. Can you tell us something about Mr. Blau? Mr. Blau was uh, one of my counselors at DeWitt Clinton High School. I did my best to fail myself out of there as a truant. And yet, Mr. Blau often saw so much potential in me and his partner, Mr. DeGrand. And they fought me every day, trying to get me to stay in class. And when I would drop out, they we didn't have a phone, so they'd send letters to my house and tell my mom to get me back in school. And I would come back. But by the time I was 17, I uh, really wasn't going to school much. And at that point, I enlisted in the Army. And so what's interesting is Mr. Blau never gave up on me. Through my military career, he kept sending me letters and saying, don't give up. You have a lot of potential. You can be whatever you want to be. Sent me letters when I was in Vietnam in combat saying, don't give up. You should go to college. And through a whole series of events, what happened was it was Mr. Blau who alerted me when I had been rejected from lots of colleges that Rocks Community College has an open enrollment program. And one of the guys in charge is a guy that used to be one of your PE teachers at DeWitt Clinton. And he affected this uh, relationship for me. And Bronx Community College gave me an incredible opportunity as a high school dropout with a GED and really not ready to go to college. They helped me through the first year and gave me the opportunity to succeed. And ultimately, I became an A student, which allowed me to go to college, which allowed me to work in a lot of other jobs, and eventually go to medical school and graduate at the top of my class, become a surgeon, become a trauma surgeon, and uh, ultimately become Surgeon General of the United States. So in less than one generation, from uh, a homeless high school dropout kid and immigrant family to be Surgeon General of the United States. Not because of me, but because great people, mentors, friends, colleagues, teachers, recognized potential that I didn't know I had, a mom who recognized that potential, and I just kept moving forward. So I think my life really represents the best that this country has to offer as a nation of opportunity for each and every youngster. Well, I am really thrilled to have met Dr. Carmona. I heard a lot about him when I first came to Bronx Community College, and I think his story is an inspiring story and an important one to tell. As a teacher educator myself, I constantly talk about the importance of teachers in the lives of their students and the importance of counselors in the lives of their students. I said, the more teachers we have who are human, who see potential, and who encourage students. My motto has always been students first, and at times I've been challenged about that. Some faculty have asked me, why students first? Why not us? I said, because we are here for the students. And if I, as a president, am about students first, then that means I have to support my staff and my faculty to be able to do the right thing. And so I am really moved by your story and really thrilled to have met you today. I wish you lots of success, and I hope that we will soon be able to call you Senator Carmona. <laughs>